today I wanted to talk to you about a few of my favorite travel credit cards. happy travelers welcome back to the awkward tourist channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Kelly and I am a flight attendant a frequent traveler and an avid travel hacker and today I wanted to talk to you about a few of my favorite travel credit cards because we often talk about this in our videos and people ask us questions but we've never actually made a video on it so I thought I would throw some credit card information your way now, before we get started, there's a few disclaimers that I have to put out there. Number one, I'll be linking all the cards I talk about in the description below, and those will be affiliate links. So if you decide to go check out those cards and or apply for them, we will get a little bit of a bonus in the form of points. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help us out a little bit. So thanks for that. And also most of the time, these credit cards do have pretty good sign-up bonuses. I'm not going to say for these cards what exactly the sign-up bonuses are because they're always changing. So if you wanna know what the current sign-up bonus is, go check out the card and you'll be able to get the most up-to-date information. Now that we've got that boring stuff out of the way, let's get started. If you've watched our videos before, you probably know that we love Hilton properties. We stay in a lot of Hiltons and we often talk about our Hilton credit card because it has some awesome benefits that we use a lot. One of our favorite credit cards is the American Express Hilton Surpass card. This card is a mid-tier card, meaning there's one below it and one above it. We like it because the annual fee is only $95. You get automatic Hilton Gold status, which gives you free breakfast. It has literally saved us hundreds and hundreds of dollars each time we stay at a Conrad like in Bora Bora or the Maldives and worth the $95 annual fee right there, I think. Also with this card, you get 10 annual Priority Pass lounge visits. We like this card so much that I have a personal one, Kevin has a personal one, and we also have the Hilton business card. Needless to say, we get a lot of benefits out of it. One of the reasons we like this card so much is that it's pretty easy to actually earn points. If you use the card at any Hilton property, you get 12 times points, so that can add up really quickly. You get six times points on US supermarkets, gas stations, and restaurants, and you get three times points on everything else. You can also transfer points from account to account up to a certain amount each year, so that makes it easy for Kevin and I to transfer points back and forth so we can pool them and translate that into luxury hotel stays, which we're doing in just a couple of weeks when we stay at the Conrad Cosa Mui, which I'm so excited about. Yay! So if you like Hilton properties and you tend to stay at them a lot, it's definitely worth it to get one of the Hilton Amex cards. Again, we have the Hilton Surpass card. But if you click on the link below, you can check out the other Hilton cards as well if you're interested in those. If there's not a Hilton property available or we just want to spend less points, one of our favorite all-around travel credit cards is the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Now there's also the Chase Sapphire Reserve, which is the higher tier, but we have the preferred, which is the lower tier with the $95 annual fee. Now with all the credit cards we have, it didn't really make sense for us to get the higher tier card and we're perfectly happy with the preferred card. It just depends on what you're spending money on and what you're using it for. So one of the reasons we like this card is because of the Chase Ultimate Rewards Points Portal. When you have Chase Ultimate Rewards Points on the Sapphire Preferred, you can redeem the points for 125% value. So basically you get a 25% bonus if you're redeeming through the Chase Portal. A couple of things that help to offset the $95 annual fee. One, you get a one-time per year $50 credit back when you book hotels through Chase. So that's nice, you get that $50 back. And on your card anniversary every year, you get a 10% points bonus. So however many base points you earned in the last year, you get a 10% bonus on your card anniversary. So that helps with the annual fee. Earning rates on this card are pretty decent. My favorite one is dining. You get three times points on that. So that adds up pretty quickly. And for travel, your basics like flights, hotels, taxis, Ubers, train rides, buses, the travel category is pretty wide. So you get two times points for everything that falls under that, and then one point for everything else. So this card also has some pretty beefy travel insurance, such as trip delay and cancellation, lost baggage or baggage delay. If the airline loses your luggage for some reason and you save your receipts, you can get reimbursed for that, which is really nice, as long as you've paid for your flight with the Chase credit card, I should say. And also purchase protection. If you buy something and you save the receipt and then it breaks or gets stolen, you can get reimbursed for that, which is really nice. I haven't personally tried it out and I hope I don't have to, but it's good peace of mind to know that it's there. 
When you do redeem the Chase Ultimate Rewards points through the Chase portal, you can redeem them for a ton of stuff. Flights, hotels, rental cars, experiences. There's also a shopping portal. It's a really, really great portal. They have a ton of travel transfer partners, so you can actually transfer the Chase Ultimate Rewards points to Marriott or IHG or airlines or whatever. Now, the transfer rates are not necessarily gonna be one-to-one. -one. It's really nice that it's flexible that way. So all around, we really like our Chase Sapphire Preferred card. Now, speaking of Chase, the next card I'm gonna talk about is also a Chase card. This next one is the Chase Freedom Unlimited card. Now, this isn't necessarily a travel card per se, but I really like to pair it with the Chase Sapphire Preferred just because of the points redemption. Be careful, there's a lot of Chase Freedom cards. This one is the Chase Freedom Unlimited, not to be confused with the Chase Freedom or the Chase Freedom Flex. One of the reasons I like this card is because there's no annual fee. You don't have to pay an annual fee, which is nice. So you can just have it and have the extra credit available if you want to help your credit score. But I like it because of its points earning. Now, just like the Chase Sapphire Preferred, you get three times points on dining, which really adds up. You get three times points at drugstores like CVS, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, anything like that. But the best thing is that there's 1.5 times points on everything else. Now, unlike the Chase Sapphire Preferred, it's just one point. Once you earn points on this card, it's really easy to transfer it over to the Chase Sapphire Preferred. So when you redeem them, you get that extra 25% I was talking about. But if you only wanna get one Chase card and you don't want anything with an annual fee, I would recommend the Chase Freedom Unlimited. The next card I'm gonna talk about deserves an honorable mention. We don't use it as much as some of the other ones just because it's not as flexible and we much prefer the Hilton card. But this card is the Chase Marriott Bonvoy Premier. Pretty much the reason we like this card is because you get a free night every year, which you can redeem for up to a 25,000 point night. So if you go into the Bonvoy program and you search for a hotel using points, you can redeem anything up to 25,000 points. This card does have an $85 annual fee. So I guess technically you're paying $85 for that free night, but you can usually stay in a pretty nice hotel for your free night. So the $85 ends up kind of being worth it. Also with this card, you get silver elite status, which isn't really as good as the Hilton gold status. It does give you things like room upgrades and late checkout. So that helps when you're staying in Marriott's. And you do get 15 elite night credits each year. So if you do stay in Marriott's, this card might be worth it for you. Now, the points earning isn't as good as the Hilton or the Chase card, which is one of the reasons why we don't use it as much. You get five times points at Marriott Properties, and then you get a little bonus depending on what your elite status level is, something like 10%, and then it goes up from there. It also earns two times points at restaurants and one point on everything else. So like I said, not great earning potential. The next level card up is actually the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless card, which I'm actually thinking of upgrading to because it's only a $95 annual fee versus an $85 annual fee. But when you redeem the free night, you get up to 40,000 points. So you can get a nicer hotel for only an extra $10. So we're considering that. So there you have it. Those are four of our favorite credit cards that we use for travel points and redemptions. Ta-da! Also, you might have noticed that I didn't mention any airline credit cards. If you've watched this channel for a while and you know that I'm a flight attendant, so I have awesome flight benefits. We don't really have any use for airline miles at this point, but if I ever stopped being a flight attendant, we would definitely look into that. My recommendation for any of this is to take a look at what categories you spend money in. If you like flying a certain airline or staying in a certain chain of hotels, get that branded credit card because it'll end up serving you well in the long run. And I would also recommend pairing that with a more general travel credit card, such as the Chase Sapphire Preferred. So I hope this was informational and not too confusing. I am not a super expert on all things travel hacking, but I do my best and can probably answer some of your questions if you leave them in the comments. And I will link all of these cards in the description, like I said. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. And if you've made it to the end, might as well hit that subscribe button, right? For now, this is Kelly from the Awkward Tourists. Peace out. Good morning, happy travelers. Shit, it's a good start. It's a plane. It's a plane. It's a plane. Boss, boss, it's a plane. Okay. When you, do redeem, when you do redeem the Chase Ultimate Rewards points through the Chase portal, you can redeem for... Fucking straight sweeper. Parking ticket? Can you redeem for that? No. Oh. Can you see that I'm wearing sweatpants?
but I really like to pair it with the chick but I really like to pair it with the Chase Sapphire Preferred. <laughs> this is so hard to say, Chase. <laughs> um, 